on a mission of hope to end this destructive conflict. I care nothing for your pathetic dream of peace. You won't stop me this time. Hello gamers and welcome to Gamers Pack. I'm Anne and I'm here with... John Vignacchi. Hello John. Uh, we're standing here just in front of Disney Infinity 3.0. So John, please tell us what new game sets have you added to the game? What is new in Disney Infinity 3.0? Oh wow, we've added a lot this year. So we've added uh, three new Star Wars play sets to the game. One's called Twilight of the Republic. That's the one that comes with the starter pack. That's based on episodes one through three or the Clone Wars era as it's called. Then we have another Star Wars play set called Rise Against the Empire. That's based during episodes four through six and it retells iconic moments from those films, but in the fun Disney Infinity style. And we also have a playset based on Star Wars The Force Awakens, Episode 7, uh, and that will be released in conjunction with the film this holiday. That's just the Star Wars footprint. We also have great new playsets from Disney Pixar, uh, 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 such as Inside Out, and we also have a really, really awesome playset for Marvel, but we'll be talking more about that later. So lots of new stuff inside of there. Exciting. What is the uniqueness between the different settings? What makes it different? What, what are the different game styles? Sure. I think in Twilight of the, of the Republic, it's really about the Jedi at the peak of their power. And so that playset features a lot of lightsaber combat. Then Rise Against the Empire, the one that's set during episodes four through six, that's about vehicles and exploration. And episode seven is about I'm just kidding, I'm not saying. <laughs> um, but what's cool too is that the Inside Out playset based on Disney Pixar's new film, that one is actually more of a puzzle platformer. It's not about open world combat and like, like the Star Wars playsets are. So that's a different play style, a different gameplay genre that we've integrated into the Disney Infinity platform. And then the new Marvel playset will also introduce a new gameplay genre to Infinity. So there's lots of different play styles and hopefully something for everyone. Combat looks really neat. Can you tell us about the new combat mechanics, maybe? Yeah, sure. So in the background here, uh, my buddy Matt's playing, and uh, we've added some really great things to lightsaber combat. So we work closely with a team called Ninja Theory. They're located in Cambridge in the UK, and they are experts at doing some really, really great combat based on some of their old games that they had done. So we brought them on to lend their expertise to Disney Infinity and work with our team at Avalanche Software to improve the already great combat that we had. So now with all the lightsabers, you can do things like air juggle characters and use force push and force pull to bring new characters closer to you. And every one of the Jedi or the Sith or even some of the bounty hunter type characters like uh, Boba Fett, um, they all have different mechanics and you can level them up in different kinds of ways. So lightsabers is a ton of fun though. And all the different characters like Ahsoka Tano who's on screen right now, she actually dual wields lightsabers. So it's a lot of fun. Once you guys get your hands on it, I hope you guys really like it too. Uh, in Inside Out we see really cool and different level designs. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. So um, with Inside Out, we work closely with the team at Pixar uh, and all the different great creators over there, like Ronnie Del Carmen, who's co-director on the film, to actually come up with a different kind of area for players to explore. So if you've seen the film, there's these different lands, and one of them that's really fun is Imagination Land. And so that's the one actually that we go into inside of our play set. And so we actually have a whole bunch of different levels, and they're based on different types of gameplay for this puzzle platformer. Some levels we use these different clouds and all the different emotions behave with the clouds in different ways. Some levels we use music actually to make, make platforms move and you actually have to hit switches in order to turn on the music to make all the different platforms move. So there's lots of different ways that um, with uh, Inside Out we did some pretty innovative stuff in terms of the design of the levels. With Star Wars, it was all about going to those iconic locations, right? Endor, Coruscant, Hoth. You're actually going to be able to go to all those different planets and something that we think is really cool that we haven't shown a lot of is, you know, once you're on a planet and you complete missions there, you can actually go get in your X-Wing or the Millennium Falcon and then fly into space. And then there's a whole bunch of space combat that you do, like open world space flight. Yeah. And then you actually go and you land back down on planet. So it's really cool. And, and I love that, that our team at Avalanche did such an amazing job recreating all these iconic environments. And in the case of Inside Out, coming up with new ones. I'd love to put my hands on it. And when does it come out? When can we play it? So August 28th in Europe and then August 30th in the States. Oh, it's like 
in a couple of weeks now, right? Yeah. So who's your favorite Star Wars character? Um, well, I like Chewie. Do you? Yeah, it's so fluffy, you know? <laughs> Chewie. Oh, hi Chewie. Chewie's right. Do you want to hold him? Yeah, well, how do, <laughs> how do you like your Wookiee steak? No. Can you do <laughs> a good, can you do a good Wookiee? Uh, no, not really. We should hear this. You can't do a good roar? Uh, no. I'll no. do a roar if you do a roar. Yeah, uh, no, uh, please do, but uh, my roar is... Well, I'm not going to do it if you don't do it. Oh, well, don't you guys want to see her do a roar? Nah. I'll do it. I'll, here's mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now let's hear yours. This is nothing. <laughs> no, it was nothing. Good. It was good. It's a first. Don't think so. First row. I've been working on this game for a while now. Oh, so. okay. Well, thank you, John. Thank you. And we're really excited. Thank you, gamers, for watching. For more news, check out gamerspack.com and do not forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Bye. <laughs>